check it out. It looks like these teenagers had the time of their lives, and they did, but they also had very important work to do. This is a garbage dump in Kingston, Jamaica, where the poorest of the poor live. And every year, a group called Pivotal Directions makes several international trips. It's part of a program to change the lives of young people through character and leadership development. Jeff Wensler is the founder and executive director of that group. We also have here today Will Gephardt. He's a junior at Homestead High School. I'm um, going to be coming up yep. this school year. He was on a trip to Guatemala this summer. And Callie Donovan <coughs> is my daughter. She's going to be a freshman. And she went to Jamaica in July earlier this summer. Jeff, nice to have all Thanks you guys here. Thanks for being here. Great to see you again. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you would join us to talk about this. And I think um, we want to get into, uh, parents are going to say, I want my kid to be part of that experience. But let's just start with the concept and why you founded Pivotal Directions. Yeah, at first, uh, there was a, a father, a couple of fathers from the North Shore area who called up and just said, Jeff, we know that you've done these service projects through Boston College and through the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, and we're just looking for advice about service because our sons need some perspective. And I said, what 14-year-old couldn't use a healthy dose of perspective? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. so, um, so I said, if you're sitting down, there's this garbage dump in Kingston, Jamaica, and if I take them there, we could really you know, do a program that could be very life-changing at that young age. And when we did, it was so successful, they said, this is worthy of a nonprofit. We opened the doors to girls, and now, you know, we're off and running. Two years later, we've taken, you know, about 90 teenagers to Guatemala and in Kingston, Jamaica. So now it's not just boys. You also take girls mm -hmm. there. Exactly. The girls actually are, um, um, there's more girls than boys in this program. They right outnumber now. them now. They do. <laughs> what kind of programs do you offer through Pivotal Directions? Yeah, so we focus on three simple areas, character, leadership, and service. So as, uh, as it stands right now, we have these international uh, trips where we work in garbage dump communities and orphanages in Kingston, Jamaica, and Guatemala, and then local Locally, we also have these um, middle school programs and some high school programs locally here in our own community where we can make a difference. I want to talk about the local programs in a minute, but first we're looking mm -hmm. at some pictures. Um, this is Jamaica. The picture we saw just a second ago was from Will's trip, I know, to um, Guatemala. But you take kids into sort of risky, I, some people would say dangerous areas. I mean, Kingston, Jamaica, it's the capital of that country. Mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a pretty city in, in some parts. Guatemala, the same thing. Do you worry about the safety and, and putting teens at risk by traveling with them? I think that by being a teenager in today's society, you already are at risk. There are so many things that um, are really um, hitting them up at, d at different places and times and through different relationships. So it's tough in general being a teenager. I think it's filled with landmines. I would say that a place like Kingston, Jamaica, if you know when to go, where to go, who to go with, mm -hmm. and how to travel, that you are embraced through some, some love and concern that that is a breeding ground for these servant leadership experiences. Orphanages are some of the safest places on the face of this earth because they're the abandoned, they're the forgotten ones. And honestly, more so than you know, a Friday, Saturday night in, in the sleepy uh, suburbs when kids are bored and what happens when kids are bored. Yeah. Well, and the reason I sent Callie on this trip, honestly, is because I knew you were going to, yeah. Jeff, mm -hmm. and because I know what kind of experience you have in leading these trips and the leaders that are on your staff. I wanted to take a couple pictures, um, take a look at some of the, the people that Callie met because I want to ask her about this experience. Tell Aww. us about this okay, little boy. So, um, this little boy, his name was Jonathan. He was three years old and I worked with him a lot um, when they were learning to write their names. I helped him out with that. We played on the monkey bars and we had a really great time together and by the time we left, he started crying because he didn't want us to leave. Mm. So um, I actually saved the gum wrapper. Jeff gave him some gum and I forgot to bring it, but um, yeah, it was just a really awesome experience. Did it, did it change your life to, to meet him and the other people that you met oh, in Kingston? Completely, completely. I have a totally new perspective on everything. That's what, amazing. Did anything surprise you about the people you met there? You hear this expression, the poorest people are the happiest. And when you go down there, you see exactly that. I mean, they're so excited. They have so much energy. They're just really excited to be with you and play with you and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. For Will, how about you with your trip? What, what drew you to Pivotal Directions, and what did you experience in Guatemala? Um, I went on a trip last year to Jamaica, and I, I had a blast. I saw a lot, and it was, it was, a, it was a revelation almost on what what there is outside of where we live. And 
I wanted to try it again, and I thought I would try a different spot, and I would try Guatemala and see some new, see some new poverty, and try and help where I could. It, mm -hmm. And Will was actually recognized for was it leadership, um, service. Yeah, his was philanthropy. philanthropy. Philanthropy of time, talent, and treasure because it's not just what Will or Callie are experiencing. Will actually, you know, when he came home after the first experience, he said, I want to make a difference. And he had this organization called Will's Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And he's the best to talk about it. But that that's where they're, they're actually making a difference locally and gathering supplies for the people in need. And what is a kid who's a junior in high school? go to Jamaica and Guatemala. It seems like you'd be home like texting your friends or playing video games or hanging out with your buddies. You know, it, you get down there and you, I, I didn't bring my phone on either trip and you get down there and you just don't even notice it. You're, you're busy, you're having fun, you're, you're with new kids and you're helping people out and just playing just a soccer ball mm -hmm. or chalk is... is is a cell phone to them down there and they, they have so much fun with it. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely the little things that I think you learn to appreciate and, and really gain those skills that we talked about. You can learn more about Pivotal Directions by visiting their website. It's pivotaldirections.org uh, to get involved or have your child potentially go on a service trip as well. Thanks for being here, you guys. Yeah, and Thank it's you. great because there are leadership opportunities throughout the year, not mm -hmm. just in the summer with international trips and some great local projects as well. So thanks, yeah. you guys, all of Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it.